Uh, hey, this is Homebrewed on WBRU. I'm Derek. We're here with Levin, Keith, and Bill of Keith McEachran fame. Um, so you you just put out your, your solo album at the end of last year. And um, I guess these two gents, are they like, or do they play with you and you play live? Um, yeah, pretty much. I um, had tracked the uh, album myself, the solo record, mm-hmm. Double Down. And yep. um, once I released it, I... I wanted to start playing the album out live, and uh, so I. So how did this come together? How'd you guys uh, all, yeah, all find each other? Yeah, um, Levin and I were college roommates freshman year, and have remained friends Way back. ever since. Okay, so yeah, that was many. Yeah, it's gotta many, be many years, years ago. ago. Twenty-two years now, I think. Because we was. are old. Yeah. Twenty-three years ago. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> can't no. do math that fast. No. Eighty-eight. Yeah, we don't have to get specific. But okay. anyway, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, and then Bill, we've played in bands together too, so we knew each other. So just friends, and then uh, another kid, uh, Luke Sullivan, on drums. So it's a four piece. Yeah, cool. For live shows. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and if people want to see the live act, you guys are at Jimmy Saloon Newport on I guess the Friday of the week that this is going to be going up. Is that Friday, June fifth? Yep. Yep. Friday, June fifth, at Jimmy Saloon in Newport. Cool. Um, the, I, so you, some of our listeners might actually recognize you from, uh, uh, another group that you're in the Wanda's who won our rock hunt, um, I guess five years ago now, um, but, but now you've got the solo thing. Um, is, is that basically, does that mean like Wanda's are, are on hold in the drawer or is there still, uh potential for more new stuff from yeah in the future too i'm not sure i think you'll probably see something at some point in our lives whether that be a couple of songs or a live show or something like that but we're on a bit of okay. an extended yeah. hiatus for no now. sure I'd, yeah because I'd all of us actually in the band i mean we're all great friends still and but we're all working on side projects right yeah. now like brent batty from mm-hmm. the wanda's he's got Roxy pro and bill's working on stuff so there's just everybody's kind of busy doing their own thing which i think is a healthy thing yeah yeah so just, we were a band for a while so definitely I mean, we did a lot so we just do weddings now. Yeah. <laughs> Bar mitzvahs. Like yeah, call us. Every other week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just wasn't sure if it was like if Wanda's completely over, if they're just still floating out there maybe. For, yeah. yeah. I yeah. don't know. It's somewhere in the middle probably. Yeah. yeah. But you guys didn't didn't get in like a massive fight or anything no. like that. Well, we did. But that didn't we didn't break up. But you, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just a <laughs> massive fight. A lot but of we, massive fights. Oh, tons of fights. Well, I mean, yeah, hey, you're not in a band you got, unless you you've been four in, guys in yeah. an RV and you're yeah. torn for three months at a time. You I fight. Bet. Mm-hmm. But then um, you make up. And yeah. the makeup is great. <laughs> makeup is great. It's yeah. so it's beautiful. expensive, yeah. though. Uh, <laughs> you guys. Uh, a lot of diamonds. So, how long was the solo album in the works? It When did um, it come out? It was December. Last came out year? December, I want to say December 2nd of 2014. So, it was yeah. just like the last month of 2014. I released it. And I started working on it probably somewhere between six and eight months before that. So, it was a pretty quick thing. I, I actually just started, um, I, I kind of converted a, a warehouse into a studio and I just started layering tracks and creating demos that essentially turned into a record. Yeah. I didn't like set out to make a record. It just oh, really? Happened. You were just yeah, writing yeah. music and I was then writing it all music came and together. I was playing all the instruments and it all came together and then I started mixing it and I said, hey, I think I have an album here. And then <laughs> one thing led That's to another. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Accidental album. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, uh, I knew that it was, at some point they were going to probably end up on a record. I just didn't know. Yeah, that the soon, right? Out, yeah. yeah. And had you have you always been uh, like a multi instrumentalist, or or is it a recent development yeah. that you wanted to do? Because you played every instrument on the album. I did. So. Yeah. Um, now I've been doing this probably as long as I can remember since I I was maybe in seventh or eighth grade, somewhere around the 12 or 13 mm-hmm. mark, I got a, uh, a f- one of those old Tascam four-track tape recorders. I don't know if people I I had remember the same what those one. are. I had the same one. Yeah. <laughs> this is long before GarageBand and, yeah. and computers. So yeah, I just there would... Was, um, what, there was a time before computers. There was. I don't, I don't understand. How did life This is the on? 80s, guys. Remember, this is the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dating myself. Just kidding. This is like mid-90s. Um, not that much better. Not that much better. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so basically whatever instrument I had in the house at the time, I would just try to make music with it and layer, you know, tracks on top of one another. So that's yeah. essentially what I did with this record, yeah. Yeah. Kind of went back to basics. Mhm. And you you mixed the album yourself too. I did, had, yeah. Had you been other than 
like I, I would call maybe the the amateur production that you've been doing, I guess, for most of your life, uh, starting off at a young age. Is this the first um, like official released work of music that you are credited as the producer? Yeah, definitely. And the first time I've mixed something. Yeah. For real. You know, I've done, like I said, demos and stuff like that. But this is the first time that I've ever mixed something that's been pressed and released. Yeah, cool. Uh, so that was fun. Actually, I really enjoyed that part of it. And the album, it's called Double Down. Um, what you a big blackjack player? Or what, is that, <laughs> what does that refer to? No, it's a title. It's a track off. The, actually, the opening track off the record is called Double Down. And um, one of the lyrics in it is, if I could place a bet, I'd double down on you. So yeah. kind of like tongue in cheek. Yeah, it's yeah. Not, yeah, I'm not a big gambler or anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what would you say the, the album in, in general is about? What was it that in, inspired you to write these songs? Um, kind of just... It's it, there's a lot to it, I think. But if I had to sum it up, um, it's basically just kind of like rediscovering myself and like the love that I have and the passion that I have for music in general, and just trying to find out what it is that kind of pulled me and gravitated me towards music to begin with. Yeah, and just rediscovering that and appreciating it for that, and nothing more. You know, not all the other stuff that comes with it, just the music and doing it for myself. Like I really just yeah. did it for myself. Yeah, and was it? different because i'm i'm assuming you also uh, helped a lot with the writing of music f for the wandas um was it different at all writing music that you knew was just going to be a solo record did that feel different at all i think so i think it freed me up a bit because there were no expectations nobody really knew i was doing it yeah so i didn't have any of that outside pressure of like okay oh, and i honestly i didn't even really show many people what it was until it was done so i didn't have you know other people saying like oh that's pretty good but you should try doing this or try doing that so it was pure it was just me yeah before you know then i released it to the world but before that it was just for me like i said so i think the idea of not having those expectations or that outside pressure um and not also having to compromise or sacrifice anything yeah like you do not to say i mean hey there's good things that come with that too being in a band sure you know, you get yeah other it's ideas pros and and, cons, but... exactly but i didn't it was just different for me because i had been in the wandas for over 10 years yeah. Since I was 18, you know, so it's like a lot has happened since then. Yeah, yeah. So to be able to take all that stuff that I've learned over the last 10 or 12 years and then say, okay, I'm kind of starting over, but I have 10 years of experience under my belt now. Do you think, um, are you happy with how it turned out? Would you like to write more solo stuff? Maybe do the, do yeah, the solo thing again? Yeah, I am happy again? with the way it turned out, actually. I'm like yeah. really happy with it. I'm excited. And um, I mean, that's part of the reason why I called up these guys, because I wanted to be able to take what I did on the album and share yeah, that. Yeah, totally. And experience Show it that. to people live. Yeah, and just play with other musicians, too, because it's a very, that's the other thing about doing this. It's lonely. Yeah. You know, you're sitting in a, in a space for 10, 12 hours at a time days on end and that part of it's kind of lonely like i miss that yeah you know and, so and levin and and bill do you guys find that you're adding any of of your own touches to the songs when you're playing them live sometimes it seems like when uh solo artists are, are playing with bands the the songs kind of take on a, a bit of a new life yeah i think i mean one thing that's that's cool about this group is i think every one of us are we're not just necessarily a role players all of us write our own music we all play multiple i think every one of us play multiple instruments including yeah. the drummer who's an Let's excellent do. guitar player and singer mm -hmm. um and one thing that i think is cool is we all identify with the idea of writing your own music and recording tracking all of it and then the that's such a different process than bringing it to life in a live setting and so even though it's not my music being able to help bring it to life with keith is yeah. really yeah, cool fun. and really um it's convenient too because you get to just come right in at the end right yeah just exactly the fun part <laughs> yeah yeah i didn't have to do any of the, <laughs> hard, of the hard work, work just coming yeah. in <laughs> none reap the, the glory none of the self-hatred at like three in the morning ah uh, there's just... still maybe places for that but <laughs> <laughs> and that's just to kind of continue off that thought that's what i love about playing with these guys too is that they everybody in this band is you know can play multiple instruments and write their own songs great songs mind you um, and I think that's rare, first of all, to find other, you know, musicians yeah. that can do that. So like, I would be group. happy to back them up on any of their projects. Like whether, whatever, whatever instrument they want me to play, I'd be like more than happy to do it because everybody here is extremely talented. So it's a good group. Yeah. I'm lucky. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for coming by. It's uh, Keith McEachran. The album's called Double Down. People can check it out now and Jimmy Saloon.
Newport, uh, June 5th. Any other big shows coming up in the area? Uh, we're playing Boston June 10th at O'Brien's Pub. Okay. So And then check out KeithMcEachran.net. I couldn't get .com. I waited too long. Oh, bastards. Who's some, on KeithMcEachran.com? It's nothing there, but some guy, as far as I can tell, some, some businessman... Yeah, named Keith McEachern out of Connecticut. Just owns wants it. to. Really? Yeah. And he won't. I try to send him messages. So if you're watching this, buddy, I'm Keith, coming after oh, you. you. <laughs> but um, so Keith McEachern dot net. <laughs> and uh, obviously Facebook, Instagram, yeah. Twitter. You can find me online. Cool. iTunes. Yeah. Oh, Spotify. Stream it. It's, it's all good. Awesome. Cool. Well, thank you guys again. Thank Thanks you. Home for having us. We'll Thanks see you next time. Yeah.